Have you ever pondered over the concept of chaos and cosmos? How did we transition from a state of disorder to an orderly universe? Imagine a universe born from chaos, a realm of randomness and unpredictability, a place where nothing is certain and everything is possible. This is the realm of chaos. It's a concept that baffles even the brightest minds, yet it's integral to our understanding of the universe. Chaos isn't just an abstract idea, it's a tangible part of our universe's fabric. It's the ultimate demonstration of unpredictability where the rules we're familiar with take a back seat. In chaos, there's no up or down, no left or right. Everything is in constant motion, in a state of flux. Now let's take a step back and think about the early universe. Picture it as a hot, dense state of matter and energy. There were no stars, no galaxies, just a chaotic soup of particles colliding and interacting in ways we can barely comprehend. This was our universe's first dance with chaos. And in this dance, chaos was the lead. It was a time when the universe was a tumultuous sea of energy and matter, where the very laws of physics were being written and rewritten in every moment. Yet amidst this seeming disorder, there was a kind of order, a pattern that was beginning to emerge. This pattern was the birth of structure, of things that we could recognize. Slowly but surely, the universe was starting to make sense. It was transitioning from a state of chaos to a state of cosmos. But what is the cosmos? It's the universe as we know it. It's a place of order, where stars burn brightly in the night sky, where galaxies spin in graceful spirals, where planets orbit around their suns in predictable paths. It's a place where the laws of physics hold sway, where we can make predictions, where we can understand. So we began in chaos. But how did we move from this randomness to the cosmos, the orderly universe we know today? The cosmos wasn't born in a day. It took billions of years for the universe to cool down and for matter to form galaxies, stars and planets. Our universe began with a colossal explosion of energy and matter known as the Big Bang. Picture this. Everything that exists was once crammed into an infinitesimally small point. Then, in a blink of an eye, it expanded. An unimaginable amount of energy released, creating matter and antimatter. As the universe expanded, it cooled. Energy transformed into particles. Particles coalesced to form atoms, and atoms began to clump together. The dance of the universe had begun. But this dance needed a choreographer. Enter gravity. Gravity, the unsung hero of the cosmos. A force so pervasive yet so subtle, we often take it for granted. Yet, without it, the universe as we know it would not exist. Gravity pulled the atoms together, creating clouds of hydrogen and helium. These clouds were the seeds of galaxies, and within them, stars began to form. Imagine being in the heart of a cloud as it collapses under its own weight. The pressure and temperature rise, atoms collide, and then a new star is born. This process, known as nuclear fusion, is the lifeblood of a star and the source of its radiant energy. Around these stars, disks of gas and dust began to swirl, slowly coalescing into planets, moons and asteroids. The universe was no longer a chaotic soup of particles, but a ballet of celestial bodies moving in harmony. Yet the cosmos is not just about stars and galaxies. It's about the intricate web of forces and laws that bind everything together. It's about the delicate balance between chaos and order, the dance between creation and destruction. It's about the mystery and wonder that inspire us to look up at the night sky and dream. From a chaotic soup of matter and energy, our cosmos began to take shape. But what about our place in it? Our, our home, Earth, is a product of this cosmic journey. But how did our planet form and become a haven for life? From the swirling chaos, a new star system was born, our solar system. Amidst the swirling gas and dust, a giant molecular cloud collapsed under its own gravity. As it collapsed, it spun faster and flattened into a disk. At the center of this disk, our sun ignited, its light piercing the cosmic darkness. Around this newborn star, the remaining material began to take shape. Dust particles stuck together, forming clumps. These clumps collided and merged, growing larger and larger, giving birth to planets. One of these emerging celestial bodies was our Earth, a rocky planet, the third from the Sun. 
The early Earth was a hostile place, bombarded by asteroids and comets. This period of heavy bombardment, however, played a crucial role in shaping our world. These cosmic collisions not only helped increase the size of our planet, but also brought water, a crucial ingredient for life. But it wasn't just the presence of water that made Earth special. Our planet resides in what scientists call the Goldilocks Zone, a distance from the sun that is not too hot, not too cold, but just right for liquid water to exist. This perfect positioning allowed our oceans to flourish, providing a cradle for life to take root. In addition, Earth developed a protective atmosphere, a shield against harmful solar radiation. This atmosphere also helped maintain a stable climate, trapping some of the sun's heat to prevent our world from freezing over. These unique conditions, water, the right distance from the sun, a protective atmosphere, came together to make Earth a haven for life. From simple organisms to complex life forms, life on Earth thrived, diversified and evolved over billions of years. Our Earth, a beacon of order in the cosmos, emerged from chaos. But the journey doesn't end here. Where are we headed? What is the future of our cosmos? An intriguing question indeed. As we stand on the precipice of the future, we can't help but wonder what lies ahead in the grand cosmic narrative. Theories abound, each more fascinating than the last. One of the most compelling scenarios is the Big Freeze. This theory suggests that as the universe continues to expand, it will eventually reach a state where all heat and energy are evenly distributed. At that point, star formation will cease, galaxies will fade, and the cosmos will plunge into a state of absolute zero, a chilling and silent end. Then there's the Big Crunch. This theory proposes a different fate. It suggests that the expansion of the universe might not continue indefinitely. Instead, gravity could eventually slow this expansion, causing the universe to collapse back into a singularity, a point of infinite density. This could potentially lead to another Big Bang, birthing a new universe in a cosmic cycle of death and rebirth. The third scenario, known as the Big Rip, is perhaps the most dramatic. It proposes that the rate of expansion of the universe could accelerate so rapidly that the very fabric of space-time would tear apart. Galaxies, stars, planets, and even atoms could be ripped into oblivity. These theories might sound like the stuff of science fiction, but they're grounded in scientific observations and mathematical models. It's a testament to the ongoing evolution of the cosmos and our endeavors to understand it. As we delve deeper into these mysteries, we gain a profound appreciation for our universe and our place within it. We've journeyed from the primordial chaos to the birth of the cosmos, from the emergence of Earth to speculations about the future. It's a journey that's far from over. Each discovery, each theory, each question propels us further along this cosmic voyage. From chaos to cosmos, we've traveled a long way. Yet our journey of understanding the universe continues reminding us of our humble place in the cosmos.